Acting can be a highly physical job. And like any other occupation which requires a more hands-on approach, this can sometimes lead to people getting genuinely hurt in the heat of the moment. Yet not every injury which goes down on a movie set involves an actor simply messing up a pre-planned stunt or smashing their body into a mirror slash window during a highly emotional scene. Sometimes these unfortunate injuries are actually caused by the very folks a thespian is sharing a scene with. Charming. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 actors who legitimately hurt their co-stars on movie sets. Number 10. Bruce Lee hits Jackie Chan with a stick. Enter the Dragon Long before Jackie Chan was the legendary actor-slash-stunt sensation we adore today, the young performer was brought into work on the film Enter the Dragon. You know, the one starring Bruce Lee. Of course, Chan was only credited as Thug in Prison in the feature on IMDb. But seen as though he'd go on to become one of the biggest movie stars on the planet, we're classing him as Lee's co-star in this list. The pair were involved in a particular scene which involved Lee swatting away opponents with a stick. But things got a little too real for young Chan at one point during the sequence. He recalled Lee accidentally smacking him in the head with the weapon and instantly seeing black. Yet Lee refused to break character until the director called cut. After this, Lee sprinted over to the performer to see if he was okay. Chan then responded by pretending to be seriously hurt just so he could continue being acknowledged by the famous martial artist for the rest of the day. Number 9. Joseph Gordon-Levitt Gets Hit in the Head by Bruce Willis Looper Bruce Willis is no stranger to the odd injury on set, with his time as an action movie superstar leaving him with his fair share of scars and even significant loss of hearing in his left ear. But he wasn't the one who was left hurting during an exchange with his on-screen younger self, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt in Ryan Johnson's time-traveling feature Looper. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter around the time of the film's release, Gordon-Levitt mentioned how he felt particularly safe in the hands of such a seasoned action veteran during one of their combat scenes in the flick. However, he later added, At the same time, I did get hit in the head once, which felt awesome. I was like, I just got hit in the head by Bruce Willis. It's not every day your skull gets struck by John McClane, but you can't imagine the Inception star will be in a rush to experience the unique feeling anytime soon. Number 8. Dave Bautista Launches Daniel Craig and Destroys His Knee Spectre When shooting a fight scene in an action film as expensive and highly anticipated as a James Bond feature, it's probably wise to hold back a little to ensure your body makes it through the production. However, 007 himself Daniel Craig has never been particularly shy about pushing himself to the limit and regularly finds himself nursing an injury on the set of a Bond picture. Spectre was no different. Yet this time the injury came about due to Craig's insistence that former professional wrestler Dave Batista take things up a notch during their physical showdown. Sure enough, after Craig told Batista to throw me for Christ's sake, Mr. Hinks obliged and accidentally left the English actor's knee in pieces. Craig was then forced to wear a knee brace for the rest of the shoot, which was digitally edited out in post-production. Number 7. Jerry Lawler Puts Jim Carrey in the Hospital Man on the Moon if this list can teach modern-day actors one thing, it would be not to get unnecessarily physical with a professional wrestler on a film set. It's just not worth it. Playing Andy Kaufman, the legendarily provocative comedian who famously wrestled Jerry Lawler in real life, Jim Carrey fully immersed himself in the world of his character, and this involved him legitimately picking a fight with the king on set when he was working on the movie. Needless to say, Lawler wasn't the performer who was hurt in this exchange. After Carey spat at the wrestler, Lawler allegedly attacked the Dumb and Dumber star and put him in the hospital. It's hard to feel sorry for Carey if this was the case, as it doesn't take a genius to know that you're going to suffer some serious consequences if you choose to garb at a 240-pound grappler. Number 6. Dolph Lundgren Legitimately Breaks Sylvester Stallone Rocky IV Sylvester Stallone is a performer known for delivering the most authentic action possible. Back in 1985, however, Stallone's quest for realism led to a near-death experience for the Rocky star. As he was shooting the fight at the end of Rocky IV with towering blonde powerhouse Dolph Lundgren, Stallone felt their bout needed to feel more personal due to their character's absolute hate for one another. So he asked his co-star to legitimately try to knock him out. Excellent idea. Lundgren then hit his director, also Stallone, 
and the Italian stallion started to feel a burning in his chest, but chose to ignore it. Later that night, it became clear this wasn't just a brief spell of heartburn. The actor was rushed to hospital where he spent eight days in intensive care. Why would anybody want this man to punch them for realsies in the chest? Number 5. Mark Ruffalo Pops Channing Tatum's Eardrum Foxcatcher Channing Tatum may have received widespread acclaim for his performance as Mark Schultz in Foxcatcher, but that positive response definitely came at a price. Showing a level of intensity we hadn't seen from him before, Tatum legitimately smashed his head through a prop mirror and into a wall during one scene, giving himself a nasty cut for his troubles. But one of his worst onset injuries during production wasn't a self-inflicted moment of method slash madness. It actually came at the hands of his on-screen older brother, Dave Schultz, played by Mark Ruffalo. During a scene which involved Ruffalo slapping Tatum on the side of the head, the Magic Mike star asked his co-star to hit him as hard as he could for real. This resulted in Tatum popping his eardrum and the reaction we eventually saw on screen was genuine. As the actor later claimed, all of a sudden it's just making a screeching noise, I can't hear anything. His eardrum healed up just fine in the end. But I guess it's true, you really won't like Mark Ruffalo when he's angry. Number 4. Tony Bellew Knocks Out Michael B. Jordan Creed It's one thing to ask another actor to smash you in the face for a bit of added realism, but allowing a professional boxer to deliver an authentic knockout blow to your head just to make a scene look good is borderline insane. These people are literally built to punish other terrifying athletes with their hands. Imagine the damage they could do to someone who hasn't been training their whole life for a career in the ring. Well, if you saw the Rocky spin-off, Creed, you don't have to. As we saw exactly what level of destruction is possible when Michael B. Jordan's Adonis Creed and former WBC Cruiserweight champion Tony Bellew's pretty Ricky Conlon came to blows in the film's epic finale. Or more specifically, Bellew landed a punch not designed for a Hollywood A-lister's face on set. Sylvester Stallone wasn't convinced the shots where Creed was sent crashing to the canvas by Conlon looked legit enough so he convinced the young star to take the punch for real. Feeling as though this was a badge of honor moment in a Rocky movie, Jordan greenlit the hook and was left lying in a heap on the ground. Unfortunately for the actor, Bellew's glove was blocking his face for that take, so they were forced to reshoot the real punch again. Double ouch. Number 3. Hilary Swank Gets Hit by Gerard Butler's Suspender Clip P.S. I Love You On the surface, performing a strip tease in front of your on-screen love interest doesn't seem like the sort of situation which could see the person admiring the view left reeling on the floor. However, when Gerard Butler was tasked with getting his kit off in front of Hilary Swank in P.S. I Love You, he only went and accidentally cut the Academy Award winner open after one of his suspender clips suddenly hit her in the face. Filming then had to be halted for five days, while the star had her head stitched back together and recovered. Number 2. Harrison Ford Hits Sean Bean With A Metal Hook Patriot Games Movie makeup teams have spent decades perfecting the art of creating realistic-looking facial injuries for actors to strut around with during violent fight scenes. However, none of that detailed work was necessary during Harrison Ford and Sean Bean's epic speedboat battle in Patriot Games. With the pair struggling to beat each other up with a metal hook throughout the fiery encounter, Bean's co-star clearly got a bit carried away mid-scene, and instead of faking a shot to the Yorkshireman's head, Ford accidentally caught the actor for real. This left Bean with a nasty-looking gash above his left eye. However, he was determined to power through with the rest of the sequence, and the whole showdown ended up looking that little bit more brutal thanks to this unintended shedding of authentic blood. Number 1. Joe Pesci Bites Macaulay Culkin – Home Alone Anyone who's seen Joe Pesci's explosive performance in Goodfellas will know that the actor has the ability to ramp up the intensity when needed. However, while shooting the first Home Alone, the actor sunk his teeth into the role a little bit too much as far as a nine-year-old Macaulay Culkin was concerned. During the scene where Pesci's Harry and Daniel Stern's Marv hang young Kevin up by his sweater, we see Pesci going to genuinely bite his young co-star's finger after threatening to bite his digits off in character. Despite no actual biting taking place in the film itself, Culkin was left with a legitimate scar after Pesci got carried away in rehearsals for the scene. Even though he was only a youngster at the time, Culkin supposedly let rip at the casino star on set. As Culkin put it himself, I don't care how many Oscars you have or whatever, don't go biting a nine-year-old. What the heck's wrong with you? Simple as that, really. 
And that's our list. Know of any other actors who legitimately hurt their co-stars on movie sets? Let us know all about them in the comments section below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and click on some more brilliant articles just like the one this video is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon.